Hi everybody and welcome to part 4 of my Let's Play Dreadmoor. Sorry, Dungeons of Dreadmoor and this is Hoverlayer Lair 32 and I'm hoping this time I've got the sound levels about right. You can actually change them in game, I didn't realise this, but if you press escape as you can see my music volume is actually as low as it'll go and I've also got the sound effects volume down as well. So hopefully that should help us um, help people hear me a little better. Okay, so we're where we were when I finished the last episode. So if I zoom the map a little bit, you can see where we are. We're just here where this little blue blob is. And we've explored not even a quarter of, of level one. And my plan is to explore most of level one before we try and venture downstairs if we make it that far. Now in this session, in the last one we actually managed to acquire a large number of objects and I'd like to find out a little bit more about them so I think we'll try some of these things out when we come across some of the creatures we've got one, two, three ones, we've got a fiery one which I think probably is a fire <laughs> weapon of some kind then we've got the coral wand which I'm not too sure what that one will do but it sounds like fun and the bony wand so we're going to try those out when we come across any monsters We've also got various potions, etc. Um, and I think we'll try those as we go along as well. And with a bit of luck, we might get some crafting in. So that's lots of plans for this session. Okay, so I think we explored quite a bit of that area above, so the shop's here, remember rightly. Mm. No, I'm not going to go and sell anything. I want to explore, I want to keep these Let's Plays interesting for everybody. And um, as before, I want to say thank you to everybody who's commented and subscribed. Very much appreciated. Right, so we'll see. I'm taking it slowly, as you can see. Let's so we'll see what's through this door here. A diggle. Okay, fantastic opportunity to try one of my ones. Let's go for the fiery wand. Oh, I'm just worried we're a bit close to the diggle, but we shall see. Here goes nothing. Well, that worked well. And let's try Coral Wand. On Batty Bat. Didn't work quite as well. We'll finish him off with a, a swipe from our um, fantastic nail board. Got another, one, another enemy coming at us. So let's try the bone one this time. Right, long distance this one. This should be fun. Not, nothing whatsoever. Hmm, okay. Bony and unpleasant. Oh, hang on, what have we got here? Something's happened. It's a minor. Your wounds close with unnatural speed. So I wonder whether that's something to do with the bone wand. It speeds up healing. Okay. <coughs> right, we'll finish this guy off with our crossbow, I think. And I think we'll try the poisoned bottle bolt. Oh, keep back. Know what the schools are. I uh, played a game earlier on which wasn't this particular one. And a lot of schools appeared, I wonder what it was, it's a poison. Right, okay, cool. Anyway, I wonder if we can walk through without struggling, so let's see. Nope, to take damage. And I'm not sure how long they're gonna last. Okay, let's go and try the door at the top. What's there? Dissipating. Oh my god. Right, um, we are going to need to
we're okay. Acid flask, no chance. Let's get some food. Sandwich. I think that worked quite well actually. <laughs> the downside now, we've actually blocked off both entrances with poison. Okay, let's try this. Ah, that one's cleared. Let's so see. Ah, so there's the top one. So it don't last forever. Oh, what's that? Cracked. Oh, wow. That looks interesting. Oh, bloody hell. Ah, we found the stairs down to the next level. I won't be going down there just yet. Ah, more acid bolts. Something else I learned was if you click on an object and then click on the feet of the player, pops it in the um, inventory. Oh, actually. They're acid and they're poison. Ah, different ones. Now this might be a better shield, let's have a quick look. Um, where is it? So we get four, ah, four mana. One magic power. Minus two to our dodge chance. Yeah, we'll stick with our uh, mossy shield, I think. Well, so I'm not going downstairs yet, so we're going to go this way. Oh my god. This game is starting to throw a little bit more at me than I was. Shall we, um... It worked last time. sandwiches left. Oh god, we're gonna level up soon. Let's try going the top way. and polish it, didn't we, which meant we could improve fill around, you can probably change the spell it infuse with it, so rub Demantic hacker. Now because we're going to win a lot of fighting going on, we should go for the, um, yeah, let's improve our dodge. I think dodging out of the way is a pretty important thing to be able to do. Okay, we've got some bars. Do they open if I touch them? Can I open them, do you think? No. Can I right click? Oh shit. God, I'm swearing. Sorry, I really am sorry. I don't mean to swear. But that wasn't the best of moves, was it? Wasting my final poison arrow, which I may need. Let's um, be careful here. Let's put our acid arrows. Okay. Stone axe. Wonder if that's better than the nail. Nail the board I've been using. Now where is my axe? I picked it up. I've done with it. I've probably been blind here. Hmm. Oh, I've got a new skill. Nightly leap. That'll be coming handy, I'm sure. Where is uh, the axe gone? The other floor. Ah, didn't pick it up, that's what. What's there? 
so that gives us two slashing that gives us three crushing which is probably better, I think the higher numbers are better so we'll leave it at that I don't think a hefty stick is going to be much use to me an aluminium tube lava over there, I don't think I've seen lava before oh no <laughs> I love the way the trap takes it. Takes the enemies out. And that is acid, I would guess. Yeah. Some kind of acid trap. Can I get that without getting hurt? Yes. Okay, let's continue this way. Chest of Evil. Oh, fountain. Okay, let's have a look. Um, lot picks. Ooh, steak. That's good for our health. Another cracked orb. The chest of Evil sounds very ominous. Batchy bows. Fast asleep. Did you try the chest? Oh, uh. -uh. Oh dear. I've released some kind of nasty monster. I've got a feeling this is going to be a pretty tough one. Yep. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's run away a little bit. Oh my god. I didn't really want that to happen. This could be a disaster. Oh dear. What have we got? The acid. Bolts. Critical here. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. That gets quite intense and hard. <laughs> but good fun. Now we got a good score. 1712, certainly beat out my last high. Alright, let's just see what sort of um Oh dear. Insane Marek, slippery. He dug like a ooze, killed from a spell mine. A spell mine. Level one. Your score one seven one two. One thousand seven hundred and twelve. Which makes my highest scoring character beat Marek the Mad Footman by a, quite a, a margin, which was the aim for the game. Um, oh well, I guess that's the end of that. Um, I definitely want to do more Let's Plays of Dungeons of Dreadmoor. So, what I'll probably look at doing now is just to see if people can give me some ideas as to what sort of character they'd like me to play and also what they'd like me to try and do. Um, if you comment and give me some tips and hints as to what you'd like to see, um, I don't mind playing again and having another go and hopefully see if we can get to level 2 of the dungeon. Okay, well, this is Hoover Layer 32. Thank you very much for listening and, and, and watching and um, I hope you'll stay tuned for my future Let's Plays. Thank you very much and good night.